Who doesn't know what a drop of water is? Or a water jet? Well, of course, every person saw and knows both of them. But with the help of high-speed cameras, our team decided to prove that in a usual water droplet, there is a place for both mystery, science, and beauty. Here, look. The life of billions of people depends on water. Every day on Earth it rains in hundreds of thousands of places at the same time. But if it were not for high-speed shooting, we would never have learned that drops are capable of having such unusual behavior, to lie in a form of a curved ball on the surface of the water. Sometimes a droplet falling down gives birth to a smaller droplet. And more. More. So why do drops behave so unusually? Let's ask the expert. The strength of the molecular interaction between molecules gives elasticity. That is, something that prevents them from converging. And this force, which prevents their converging, in fact is like an elastic band or an elastic spring. It keeps the molecules at a certain distance and forms an almost ideal sphere, thanks to the surface tension. But in space where weightlessness is present, the sphere is ideal in this case. But here it depends on the diameter of the droplet. The smaller the drop, the more it resembles an ideal spherical shape, unlike a drop of a larger size. The strength of surface tension is visible in a large volume of water and in a tiny drop. Therefore, that's what we see. The surface, like a trampoline or a stretched mesh, keeps the drop for a while. And the drop strives to become a sphere again because of the effect of surface tension. And the smaller the drop, the more regular the shape is. And what happens if the drop falls from a higher altitude? The energy from the falling drop goes into the formation of a crater. It is also called a crown and the latter in turn collapses and forms a spike with a thickening at the end. We tried to achieve the effect of the crown, but already at the tip of a spike. Here's what it looks like. There are cases when this needle forms quite a considerable height, but it's necessary to choose the diameter of the droplet and correspondingly the height of its fall and modify the experimental conditions. It is possible to do so that the needle forms detachable drops at a quite great height, like this one for example. Look at the result. The second drop destroys the emerging needle on the surface of the water. 